guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I had this girl on my channel, like in a proper video, not yes. in a vlog. <laughs> Hi! And it's also been quite a while since our Disneyland Paris trip. How long? When this video goes live, it's been almost three months. So for you who are new, hi I'm Vilma and this is my best friend Julia and we were in Disneyland Paris in June. Best time ever! Amazing. I have five vlogs on my channel so if you haven't seen those, go ahead and watch them because they're quite they're nice. epic, yes. And today we're here to answer your questions. I can't believe this when I say I asked you on Instagram what do you want to know about our trip and mm -hmm. today we're gonna um, answer them all. We're gonna film two videos. One this one, which is just in Q&A, and then the other video is like specifically about our trip and our adventures and stories and stuff. So stay tuned next week, that will be here, uploaded. So today we're gonna answer your questions- oh god. <laughs> Don't <laughs> spill my cook! Two Disney mugs full of that, because this was our magic poison yes. drink. We lived on this. Yeah. Yes. I have quite many questions. I famous. Oh god. <laughs> if you're planning a Disney trip, I think there will be quite a lot of help in this video from us. So. Yeah, ching 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 ching. There's Henna Julia saying, I have actually a few questions since I'm planning yeah. a trip to my own to DLP. <gasps> so exciting. Yeah. Do you have any tips for the first timers that you think they should know before going to DLP? It really depends when you're going, like, is it busy or not? You should always know, are the kids in France or in England on holiday? Yeah. Always go on the weekdays. Weekends were really busy. We were there from Tuesday to Saturday, and you yeah. can really see the difference mm. from, like, Wednesday yeah. to Saturday. And I think the Disneyland Park is more crowded than the Studios Park. Mm, yeah, definitely. Probably the busiest rides are still in the studios. Mm. Precious Coaster. Oh, I'm so sad we yeah. that one. I think Disney Paris is so small so you can like you can't yeah. plan the whole trip but you can plan like which rides are the most that, yeah, that you want to visit yeah. and see. Also check out which rides are not uh, in use when you go. <sighs> because some of them were in renovation, for example, the teacups. Parts of the Caribbean. Parts right? of the Caribbean yeah. ride. We missed those. Um, That's sad, but what can you do? Go to the Princess Pavilion in the morning. If you're staying in a Disney hotel and you have the extra magic time, it's not as good in the Disney park. So not as good. So if you have the extra magic time, <laughs> Yeah, spend it on the characters. We went to the Baldi Europe, the shopping center, we bought some snacks to our yeah. hotel room, saved money, and please buy water from the from the store because oh water in Disneyland Paris is so it's expensive. So and I think you should go for five days. Mm. Also, before you go, sleep well and oh a lot, God. as much as you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was there anything you were disappointed or not satisfied with? Maybe about the rides that were on renovation. Yeah. Yeah, maybe about that one. Yeah, it was the Haunted Mansion, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, the teacups, mm. the Rock and Roller Coaster. Yeah. So many big ones were in renovation, so. which was, I think, quite weird because... Mm. At the same time. I think they should put like a smaller ride and, and, and a big ride to renovation. Yeah. Not not the same time like the big rides, because that's quite weird. And also, <laughs> as a vegan... um. <laughs> The vegetarian and vegan that options, was something. <laughs> options in Disneyland Paris are ridiculously yeah. bad. And Only one we could eat was French fries and the tomato pasta. And, and I had pizza. Yeah, <laughs> and you had the soy burger outside Disneyland yeah, Paris true. in the Disney Village. Their vegetarian options are not the best. <laughs> um, still, Hannah Julia asks, uh, how much money do you think that the trip, for example, four days in Disneyland Paris, would cost for ever and for an average person, like hotels, tickets, food, etc. Shopping is oh. not included. And I also would like to know your best recommendations about what to eat, what to do, etc. Love your well, loved your vlogs. They are amazing. Thank Aww, you. That's, that's so sweet. A... I'm really bad with money. <laughs> I don't think I actually even thought about how much money I put in I this actually, trip. I actually, I think I spent less than I thought. I think we booked our trip in October mm, last it was really year. Early. And when you book early, there's the early booking thing like you yeah. can you can save so much money and we got two days and two nights free because we all right yeah yeah because we booked so early our trip 
was I think six or seven hundred euros for both of us, like hotels mm -hmm. and Disney tickets included. Yeah. If you want to go to Disneyland Paris next year, book now or at least start looking and book before I think October. Really tell all those things in yeah. uh, like on the website. Yeah. And remember to book the magical shuttle. Yeah. It was really easy and simple. If you don't want to stay in a Disney hotel, there's also partner hotels, but I think we just we just wanted to. Yeah, the whole food. Disney experience. The, yeah. <laughs> the food you can really decide what to eat if you want mm -hmm. to eat just like. Like, you know, fast food, it's pretty cheap. I got the pizza and coke for 13 euros. 13 euros or something. Mm -hmm. I think you can easily go for like 30 or 40 euros a day for mm -hmm. food. Yeah. If you want to book fancier meals, for example, the princess meal is like 70 euros. If you want to put money in that, there's also that. But like, it really depends. If you bring mm -hmm. your own snacks, if yeah. you buy, if you go to the shopping center and buy food from the store, I think it's pretty hard to say what for days and Disney Park price would cost because the early booking thing and like when you book and where mm. are you, when are you going and stuff that really, yeah. it really changes the whole thing. It, it can be very expensive or you can save money. I think it's definitely possible. Mm, yeah, yeah. Check out the prices from the website and you can see the menus uh, on on the Disney uh, Disney Paris guide or something mm -hmm. like you can check from there. Best recommendations: what to eat and what to do, etc. Oh my God! Please quiet. Eat what Hakuna Matata the fries? <laughs> yeah, they were good. The one that we have past San Pizza was it? Bella Notte. <gasps> the pasta was really good. Yeah, Maybe I was just hungry. It. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But it was like Lady and the Tramp themed. It was yeah. really nice. And your pizza was very cute. Yeah, it was like a star shape. Go and see the Starlight Princess Waltz. You have many to times. Sit. Many times. Many times. I'm gonna it's, insert oh a clip God. here. Oh, I just get oh. chills. I think you should also go and see the Mickey and the Magician in the yeah, studio. Yeah, it was really nice. Meet <laughs> characters, have fun, take yeah, lots of characters. Meet characters. characters, that is, oh, definitely my favorite it's so thing. so fun. Um, Yona Nomia asks, what was your favorite snack in Disneyland Paris? Well, I bought my own, brought my own, so. <laughs> Loads of protein bars. If Coke is a snack, I'll take Coke. We drank so <laughs> much Coke. So it's much. ridiculous. And the cotton candy was really good. Oh my god, it was so big. It was so big and so good. <laughs> yeah. That was like the only snack I ate. Yeah, I think. I don't think the food was amazing, but like, but like we were so hungry all the time. It tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god. There's not so many Disney themed yeah, things in Disney true. Paris. There were like candy apples and candy popcorn apple and donuts and yeah. stuff. But there wasn't like Mickey shape this or yeah. Mickey shape that. So well, that was a bummer. Yeah, I think that was something we were mm. kind of disappointed in. Then my lovely friend Amanda asks best and worst rides. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Good Your, question. Yes. Best worst. ride. Uh, I'm gonna say Space Mountain. So funny, we went like three times, four yeah. times. Yeah, and in the evening because then yeah. no uh, queue. I really liked uh, Hyperspace Mountain, but also mm. I'm gonna say Ratatouille. Oh my god, yes. That's I think true. those two rides were the best. Mm. Also, I really like Indiana Jones. Yeah, oh my god, And yes. Pink Thunder Mountain so is also really good. Yeah, oh my god, there's so many nice rides. Oh, Tower of Tower Terror. Tower of Terror. That was a good one also. Like, <sighs> not what I expected at all. Amanda also asks, um, I, uh, also I know you struggle with food there, but if you <laughs> could talk about that, because I'm sure it's something a lot of people will wonder about. The struggle, the struggle is real. Um, yeah. Being vegan in Disneyland Paris is not easy. But we survived. We survived. <laughs> I didn't eat yeah. any nutrients. I ate only pa like pa tomato pasta and fries and fries coke. And coke <laughs> so it wasn't the best. I could have asked for the allergy menu, but I've heard so many bad things about mm. that that I didn't want to. Yeah, the like so, frozen meals or something. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard so many bad things about that. I think I'm gonna try that when I go there next time. I struggled quite a bit. I brought my own snacks. Yeah, and the protein bars, they helped. Like, yeah, they helped died. so much. <laughs> brought like bananas and mm. there was a Starbucks that I, I could get like soy lattes and soy... Uh, <laughs> and cocoa. the most expensive fruits. You can be vegan this in Paris. Yeah. And one more question from Amanda. Mm -hmm. Fave photo spots. In front of the castle. Yeah, that is a favorite. And around the castle. Around the castle. Yeah. Next to the castle. 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 Behind the castle. Yeah. It's... And there's the, um, a little wishing well. Snow White's wishing well. Next to the castle. <laughs> that was get the wishing well <laughs> and the castle. And the one photo is like... <gasps> Ooh. Hey, and the labyrinth. Oh my god, yeah! There were so many cute spots. There's like yeah. little um, 
Alice in the Wonderland characters there. Yeah, well, like this one. Yeah. This is actually from Emmy. Ah! Oh! <laughs> what do you wish you had known before visiting Disneyland Paris, or was there something that really surprised you? This girl watches a lot of Disney vlogs, so and we pretty much knew everything yeah, already. Yeah, and Disney and Disney Q&A's, yes. I've watched so many. She was like, we have to do this and this and this and this, and I was like, I'm the one who has been in Disney before, you haven't. I don't think there was surprises, really. I knew how tiring and exhausting the trip would be, but I didn't know that it would be this exhausting. I wish I'd known that uh, the dragon and the frozen float in were in reno 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 oh. renovation because when we were in Disneyland Paris, frozen is our thing, mm -hmm. and the frozen characters were in a carriage dragged by horses. And it was cool because you could interact with them yeah. much better, but like we didn't see the frozen float, we didn't see the dragon like breathe fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think we knew pretty much everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. Yeah. I think me, we may have uh, kind of answered this one, but Becky Matilda asks, what are the most uh, must-do rides? Were they worth the waits? Ooh. What was the ride that we waited the longest? Yeah. I think Dumbo was the yeah. longest wait, or we did wait quite a bit to um, Tower of Terror as well. Even though we had the fast passes, yeah. but there were so many people who yeah, had also had, yeah. fast passes. So True. maybe that one, because... But like 30 minutes was our longest I think 30 minutes ride. was so surprising because we went in June, so there was already families. Yeah. The longest that we waited was uh, to the Princess Pavilion, like the longest yeah. wait ever there was to the Princess Pavilion, but the rides were... We, we did yeah. so well with them. But I think Dumbo, we all already knew it was like a cute ride, yeah. it wasn't like anything. Yeah, so that's like what you have to do and yeah. you get to the park. So yeah, it was worth it. Yeah. Um, and then Tarf Terror, we did not know what we were expecting, like we said. And it was worth it! <laughs> I thought it was just something like, you You walk in, it's like, kind of horror, there's people yeah. who scare you. And I was like, okay. But then, like, we yeah, went to the elevator! It's like a movie thing yeah, or something, like, it's yeah. like a scary movie or something. We're just maybe going upstairs and then we get to walk around. I was like, no! <laughs> well, if, we, if you could say top three, what would you do? Like, if someone is going to Disneyland Paris, what three top rides three. Have to go? Uh, the Dumbo ride. I'm gonna say Tower of Terror, because mm -hmm. that was really fun. Third one, Hyperspace Mountain. Okay, I'm gonna say Ratatouille because it is exclusive to Disneyland Paris. Big Thunder Mountain, because that one is so well made, it is so long. Okay, I was like, yeah. I'm gonna say Peter Pan. Yeah. Snow White is a close fourth, but I, the Peter Pan ride is very beautiful. Yeah, you really feel like you're flying. Yeah, good. yeah, Fast Pass again. Fast Passes were the best yeah, thing that we really discovered. Good. Actually, I didn't know about them too much before. Oh, that's true. Nora Olivia asks, like, any general tips um, for anyone who's going to Disneyland Paris. Sleep enough before Sleep you enough. leave. Fast passes, get them, they're free, uh, they're included in the price of your ticket. Well, there's no fast passes to every ride, but you can get one to Peter Pan's <laughs> Flight, you can get one to Tower of Terror, Big Thunder Mountain. The rides that have single rider queue, for example, Crush's Coaster and Ratatouille, do that. If you, if there's like three of you or two of you, just go to mm. the single rider queue. Yeah, it's so much faster. And if you're staying at Disneyland Hotel, Use the magic hour. Park opens for you at like 8.30 eight. 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 Yeah. Eight or 8.30, I don't know. More time in the parks in the morning and there's not as much people. Then when you have that magic time, use it for characters. Okay, yeah. fast passes in that magic time. Oh Center yeah, time. we didn't do that. Yeah, we just ran into the princess pavilion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like. And then to uh, kind of uh, wrap this all up and to prepare you for our next video. <laughs> Uh, what was the best thing in Disneyland Paris? <gasps> Asks uh, Ella. The one best thing? Mm hmm Characters. Characters were the best thing. I think the whole park, like all the, the buildings. Atmosphere. Yeah, the atmosphere. It looks fake. <laughs> My brother yeah, said to me, is the, is, the, is the castle real? Like, yeah. you can go inside, it is so unreal. It's own world. They have a like, whole like, like, experience. Yeah. You see the parade and dance and sing and have yeah, fun. It's so happy place. It was just so oh. happy. And ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that does it all for our Disneyland Paris Q&A this time. Yes, thank you for all the questions. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, hit thumbs up. And if you want to see our Disneyland Paris like story video, which is mm. coming out next week, subscribe down below. And also go and follow Julia on Instagram. Yes, please. Julo, LOL. Thank you for having me. Yeah, that was so much fun. Yeah, so much so fun you. you. Cannot wait to go again. <sighs> Annual passes. Annual passes? Santa? Someone? <laughs> Please bring me one. Yes. <laughs>
Or two. <laughs> or two. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I love you, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Frontierland, all the way from home. <laughs>